Welcome to this first advanced color grading lesson. In this one, we're going to learn the popular orange and teal look. I'm using the color grading one video clip if you want to follow along with that one, or you could use any clips that you have or the other sample footage. This is a look popularized in Hollywood movies from Mad Max and Iron Man to Transformers. It's this look where you are highlighting the orange and pushing your darks and shadows and cooler colors to a teal look, as you can see here as an example in this sequence. So how are we going to create this? First, if you're starting from scratch, just take your color grading example footage, put it on your timeline. I am using adjustment layers so that you can turn it on and off. You could also easily apply this adjustment layer to another clip. The first thing that you really need to do whenever you are grading footage is give your footage a basic correction though. This clip is rather flat, so I'm just going to do just a super, super quick edit, bringing down my shadows, bringing up my highlights. In terms of color, temperature, and balance, I think it's fine as it is right now, but I'm just giving it a general better exposure. And again, you're going to be using this footage that is provided in the course that isn't completely full quality resolution, so you don't have full room to edit this footage, but if you were shooting in a flat profile with your own camera, you're going to have a lot more room to edit with. So that's good for our base layer. I can quickly toggle this on and off here and see what that looks like. I also have my Vectorscope YUV graph up here, and this is going to be a good way to see what I'm doing because what I'm really doing is pushing our colors into the orange, which is between yellow and red, and into the cyan or this sort of teal color. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my adjustment layer where this is really the layer I'm using to create that orange and teal look. So make sure you have that selected because if you have another clip down here selected, it's going to be a different Lumetri color effect. I want to show you and teach you really the process behind these effects rather than just telling you, okay, type in this number, adjust this slider to this because there's multiple ways to get every type of look using Premiere Pro's Lumetri Color, and I really want you to understand what's happening. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this. The first thing we can do is just open up our color wheels and match. This is where we can take our shadow colors and push those shadow, shadow colors more into the teal. See how that's making everything a little bit more blue you can go over to the left straight down to that cyan, cyan, and that's going to automatically make that a little bit more of that teal look. We can then take our highlights and push that to sort of balance it up into the orange and even our midtones a little bit. If we go too much with the midtones though, it's gonna to start to look all orange. So you sort of have to find a happy medium between these two settings. And it's of course going to depend on your clip itself as well. So that's one way to start to get this effect. Another way to make this even more pronounced is with our curves. If we go to the curves panel and we go to hue versus, versus saturation, let's scroll the slider so we get all of our sort of blue range in our view. And we can just go ahead and click somewhere around this point right here between green and cyan and then over here right when it starts to get to purple. And then we could bring up the saturation of our blues. And we can set two points if we want to get all of these colors. And if I turn this on and off, you can kind of see a subtle teal added to that color. We could also slide over back here to our 
orange, yellow. This is going to be a lot of our skin tones. Set two points around the orange and bring that up. Now, you don't want to do too crazy with that because the skin tones can start to look a little bit funky. But something like that really does add and create this teal look, orange and teal look. Now, you can turn these on and off individually. You can turn off the effects button right here to see the before and after, or you can go down to the slider or the timeline layer and turn this on and off. And you can really see the dramatic orange and teal that we're creating here. Another way to do this, I'm going to turn off the curves and the color wheels and match tabs on this Lumetri color effect and go to HSL secondary. This is going to give us a more specific adjustment. So if we want to select the blues, we can click this blue or we could start with the sort of cyan, but starting with the blue is a good option. And I'm going to check on this color gray button so we can see what the selection is. This clip already has a lot of blue in it. Basically, what I'm trying to do is select everything except for our skin tone. So I'm going to extend this here. I'm going to blur it out so the edges blend more so. See if the noise does anything. Not much, so that one we don't really need to worry about. Let me extend this a little bit and bring this top in. I'm not trying to get any of that skin tone. Just seeing, decreasing these selections here. All right, so starting with something like that, if we turn off this check box so we can see what we're actually doing, we can then do make an adjustment. We can take this overall color adjustment and bring it down into the teal, maybe boost the contrast just a little bit, boost the saturation. And now we're getting a super duper <laughs> teal look. If we want to do the same thing, this more pinpoint adjustment of just bringing out the orange and yellow in the oranges and yellows of our frame, what we need to do is add a second Lumetri color effect because we can't add another point here with HSL secondary on this effect. So click this drop down button and click add Lumetri color. And we could actually rename this so we can call this orange. So we can remember what this is. And up, up in the effects controls panel, you can see the different Lumetri color effects that are applied. And the name of it is in parentheses over here, just so that you know if you want to delete one or the other. So here with this orange one selected, if we go in and we either take our eyedropper and select our orange or start with something like the reds, we should be good by starting to select our skin tones. I'm going to extend this so that we try to select more of her skin tone, just making quick adjustments here and blur out just so that the effect we apply blends in with the rest of the video and it doesn't look like it's cut off on the edges of things. And then what we're going to do is push this into the orange. So you can see that this starts to look kind of crazy early on. So you don't want to go too much, just very subtle. That might be way too much, actually. You could even go into the individual shadows, midtones, and highlights here. Maybe we want to just play around more with the highlights where we add this orange and the shadows of this selection, we still bring back into our more blue teal color. And we can turn this on and off. It's a subtle change. Maybe we add a little bit more of our midtones too. Subtle change. But there we go. Now we can turn off this layer on and off and you get that super duper, I'll call it. I know that's silly, but that more powerful orange and teal look. All right, so the cool thing about this is if we take one of our other clips, let's just take our clip of the motorcycle, color grading three, and we drag this onto our timeline. Now we haven't done any basic correction on this clip, but it's a little bit more color corrected than 
the other one. And if I just extend this adjustment over, we can see what it does to this clip. Turn it on and off, on and off, and we already have a pretty decent orange and teal look for this, for this clip. So you wanna look through this and make sure that it looks okay. I'm seeing here as I play through that, parts of her forehead look a little bit funky with that teal added for the HSL secondary. So maybe I would select a little bit less of this, something like this right here. So we're just not getting as much of her forehead, but really just her shirt and the background It's always good to play back your footage and not just depend on the one frame that you were editing because the lighting, the angle of where your actors are or whatever you're filming might change and that's going to change, especially if you're using this HSL secondary option. Now if I turn this off and go back and turn on my color wheels and curves option, you can see it's sort of a different effect or a different look and then let's actually just go ahead and delete this second one, the orange one, or we'll just turn that off. Now this is going to be a different look for this color grading three clip as well. But still a pretty good look. And with every different clip, it's going to take a little bit of a different adjustment because the starting off colors and things are going to be a little bit different as well. And so you really are sort of adjusting and grading to every individual clip. If you were filming an entire sequence or scene together at the same time with the same lighting, it's going to have the same color temperatures, same color base, same contrast starting off. So it will look more similar compared to these two clips, which don't really go together right now. So hopefully you understand now how to create this orange and teal look. I'm back on the original clip and I just wanna show you how using this vector so scope graph helps you because what we're doing is pushing these colors and if I turn off this adjustment that I created, you can see that it expands into the cyan teal and this orange area of the clip quite well and that's really what we're going for. So. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're doing this on your own footage and this has helped you, tag me in your clips, tag me on YouTube, tag me on Instagram, wherever you're posting your videos. I would love to check it out. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next lesson.